Hello, welcome to Crypt Point Awareness Channel. I am Sayyad, and today I am going to talk about a Swedish EOS block producer called Sweden Cornet. But let's first look at disclaimer. Please pause the video and read this disclaimer line by line. This is an educational channel. The whole purpose of this channel is to raise awareness. We are not giving you any financial advice or investment advice or any legal advice. Also, you do not have to agree with anything with us. You are 100% responsible for all of your actions. I am also using this channel to improve my personal education and awareness. Let's begin with me. Who am I? I am Sayyid Mushabbar Sadiq. I am an information security, privacy, risk management and compliance professional. I have been working in this domain for over 20 years. I have worked with many international global companies, for example, Ericsson, Havlert Packard Enterprise, Asabloy, another Swedish joint, and I have had various roles and all of those roles are connected with security. So I have worked, for example, as a software developer, working with the PKI related products, with digital certificates, with cryptography. I've also worked with network security, routing, switching. I, have, I was also a global ICT manager of Ericsson. So taking care of the whole IT infrastructure for the Ericsson. At Helvet Packard, I was working as a security advisor and now I am working as senior information security officer. Academically, I have not one, not two, but three technical master's degrees from top universities of Sweden, KTH and Chalmers University of Technology. One of the master's degree that I have is about information security. Another one is about networking, routing, switching. The third one is about data communication. And also I have many, many, many certifications, professional certifications within information security, such as CISP, C-RISC, and so on. You can find all these details in my LinkedIn profile. So I have a link here. You can go there and read more about me. And if you have any question, you can respond back to me. Let's now talk about EOS Sweden Cornet. EOS Sweden Cornet is a new block producer. They went live about two or three days ago. In Sweden, everything has to be done legally. So from legal point of view, Sweden Cornet is a part of Cornet AB. I am not part of Sweden Cornet, but I know these people from, let's say, more than 20 years. About two or three months ago, this legal entity, Cornet AB, they announced their EOS block producer candidacy. They looked into all the processes and procedures and rules and regulations that were published by the EOS community in the EOS Go website. And they followed all those instructions. They found that EOS Sweden was the name which no one has demanded by that time. They found that name was available. This It was available both in the Steemit and also it was available as a uh, as a open trademark which anybody could take in Sweden. So this legal entity Cornet AB, they applied for registration of this trademark in Sweden and also they announced their candidacy with that name. So Cornet AB is the real EOS Sweden. And later on, uh, they started getting a lot of threatening messages, a lot of violence from another Swedish entity. And that Swedish entity was telling to US Sweden to step down, to give away their identity. And when Cornet AB people, they looked into uh, the whole situation and what they found, they found very strange things. 
they found this post in Steemit, which was published four months ago by the other party. And in this post, they never claimed their identity as EOS Sweden. They actually claimed they want to be Eric or they want to be EOS IO or something else. But if you look into the, this kind of post from US Sweden, you will find that Cornet AB, they clearly stated that they are US Sweden. Another thing is that if you look into their uh, uh, block producer identity, they call them Southwest Eden. They don't even want to be called US Sweden. So we don't know why all the violence uh, they created. We do not know why they created all this violence and why they threatened Cornet AB. Anyhow, uh, Cornet AB were new in comparison with them. It took time for Cornet AB to, to go live. And by the time they went live, they realized that uh, they are using uh, EOS Sweden org as a block producer ID, which they should have never done from legal point of view. But to avoid any kind of uh, misinterpretation, Cornet AB decided to use a completely different name as their block producer ID. So they are now using Sweden Cornet as their block producer ID. So if you would like to give vote to Sweden Cornet, you can give vote on this on this ID, Sweden Cornet, and you can find them in US Network Monitor. Please remember that Cornet AB is the only legal entity who had applied for this trademark, EOS Sweden, even though they are not using that trademark at this moment. If you want to know more about Sweden Cornet, there is a uh, website they are continuously updating and modifying this website so things may change uh, and the website will change but here you can have all the information about sweden cornet they have described here the core values you can know about their team members here they have very fantastic team they are they have the best professionals in it from sweden so you can find all the information about their team. You can go through their team. You can see that which companies they have been working with, what kind of education they have. Most of the Cornet team members, they have more than one master's degrees from Sweden. For example, this person, Hassan Shah, he has two, two master's degrees uh, from Sweden. And one of them is about computer science. Then this uh, lady, Maliha, she has not one, not two, but three master's degrees. One of them is in information security. Another one of them is in uh, networking about routing and switching. And she has worked more than eight years in Ericsson. She has also opened up several companies before. Then you have a young boy from them, Ali, and then you have some supporters. Sweden Cornet is not going to limit themselves only to Sweden. They are going to target the whole globe. They are going to open their doors to the whole world. So anyone who wants to join Sweden Cornet, they are welcome. They can join them as ambassadors. They can join them as supporters. They can be even part of their core team if they want. So if anyone who is willing to join them, they are welcome. You should also look into Sweden Cornet approach to security and network deployment. They have described here in very detail what they think about security and how their network deployment looks like today and what they are going to do in the future. Everything in Sweden Cornet is based on sound principles of risk management, meaning that information security controls and measures should be chosen based on the risk profile or based on the risk exposure. So there's no one fit solution for all the block producers. 
different block producers they have different levels of risk profile and they need different kind of security measures and another thing they have explained here uh, in very detail is that uh, does 100 percent security exist you may have heard from many block producers especially from the top one that they are very secure they are perfect no one can penetrate them and so on and i am sorry to say uh, that is a big lie there is nothing in this universe which is 100 percent secure and also there is nothing that is called pure random number everything has logic uh, bitcoin is the most secure blockchain and their security depends upon the computing resources that are utilized to protect that blockchain but is the bitcoin blockchain theoretically secure no theoretically it is not secure 51 percent attack on bitcoin blockchain is possible but it is not practical so practically it is impossible to to attack bitcoin blockchain because the cost to attack the bitcoin blockchain is so high in terms of resources needed and time that it does not make sense to even attack the bitcoin blockchain and also there could be software vulnerabilities and there could be misconfigurations and there could be a lot of other things that could go wrong that may have not discovered by by now but in future something could go wrong the point i want to make is that there is nothing that is 100 percent secure the only thing that matters is that you should make your network your system so strong so hard that practically it should not be possible to attack by a bad actor or the backed actor does not find any justification to attack a system. So Sweden Cornet has taken that approach. So they have uh, three levels of deployment. One is they have the basic network setup and that is secure enough, good enough. And, and if in future they need more scalability, more uh, agility, they can uh, still do that. And there's a high level avail availability setup they have described here and then it can you can also have like extreme high level availability by utilizing uh, resources into different continents and the whole thing they have they are basing on is around cloud services but it's not just public cloud i mean today they have everything in the public cloud but uh, they can have a private cloud uh, they can go hybrid and so on another thing i heard that some of the top block producers they are claiming that since they have a physical hardware they have a physical infrastructure so they are more secure that is again nonsense for a new data center oper operator or for a new block producer it could take maybe 10 20 years before they can reasonably say that they are secure Today they don't know if even if they are secure or not. Maybe they are, have tried to implement technical measures, but maybe they have not thought many of the things. But this big public uh, cloud providers such as Amazon Web Services and Azure and Google, they are really very secure, more secure than most of the banks and the big uh, companies. Their core infrastructure uh, and, and the platform they have a lot of security they have a lot of certifications if you look into that they have all of these certifications and they follow a lot of information security frameworks and standards and the big block producers among the top 21 most of them may not even heard of these information security standards so you can't say that if you have a physical hardware you are more secure than the cloud providers in fact chances are that uh, you are less secure than the public cloud service providers because the public cloud service providers they have spent a lot of resources a lot of money a lot of time and they have also seen uh, the test of time block producers that have physical infrastructure physical hardware they have to see the test of time there's high probability that 
things can go wrong if you have a physical hardware infrastructure in comparison with if you have something uh, in the cloud uh, i think i will make another video on this topic later on so you can read all about uh, sweden cornet in this website so if you would like to give vote to sweden cornet you are most welcome to give them vote it's up to you you don't have to give vote to them because i say you can give vote to them if you really want to give vote to them so i think that was all that i wanted to talk about today but one thing i would like also to mention is that sweden cornet is a new block producer as i said they joined us community about two or three months uh, in the past so they were new and they are still new and they tried to get help from uh, some of the block producers and really I i'm sorry to say uh, really most of the block producers they were not willing to help they were not even replying and the one that really helped was eos authority so eos authority i could find the only block producer who was willing to help another block producer crypto lines they were helpful in a sense that they have published uh, in github instructions about how to join the mainnet so crypto lines were also helpful so on behalf of sweden cornet i would like to say thank you to both us authority and also to crypto lines they are really helping the newcomers and i hope in future the top block producers for example us canada they should be more willing to help they should be more willing to help newcomers so that's what i wanted to say so thank you for listening and uh, see you next time